Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake, and today in my YouTube series on becoming a web designer, I'll be talking a little bit about Adobe Dreamweaver and its use in web design. Now, uh, many of you may not um, have actually used Adobe Dreamweaver, but you may be familiar with it if you've been researching web design. Adobe Dreamweaver is commonly what's referred to as a WYSIWYG editor, which means what you see is what you get. However, if you choose to do hand coding, it certainly allows for you to do that, and I actually prefer to utilize it in my hand coding. Dreamweaver has um, three primary views when you're talking about its user interface. It has a code view where you can strictly um, edit the code, and it helps you by um, numbering your individual lines of code, doing color coding, um, it can do suggestions, autocorrect, um, etc. It has a design view where you can use um, shortcuts, um, you can go ahead and um, type things in in terms of text copy. You can highlight things and you can do inserts. Um, you can do um, some different things with shortcuts and buttons that it has in terms of um, the WYSIWYG interface. There's some drag and drop functionality, um, et cetera, for those of you who are less coding or technically inclined. And of course, it has my favorite view, which is split view. And split view is exactly what it sounds like. It is a split between the coding and um, the visual editor so that you can actually see the results of what you're doing in code, what you're writing, what you're typing, and then you can make adjustments one way or the other using either um, direct code, shortcuts, um, menu interfaces, drag and drop things. You can do it either way. You have access to work any way that you want, and that's why I prefer. I prefer having all my options, all my tools, and not having to cherry pick. And that's why I prefer to use Dreamweaver and I use a combination of the split view to have access to things in the visual interface that are easier to do. Primary example is I already code all of my own CSS. So it's easy for me to just go ahead and go to um, a body paragraph or a section of um, code, highlight it, and then use a drop down button and apply whatever class that I've already made in my CSS to that code and it go ahead and it styles it the way that I've already set it up to do so. Um, I can also go ahead and take assets and code snippets that I've already written as a coder and I can drag and drop them into the interface. I can do different things like that. I can go ahead and tab my code so I can keep it clean. I can highlight, select all of it, format it so that the code is auto formatted and clean. I can do things like spell check. I can do find and replace and I can see the results of that visually, make sure that they work. I can even view my responsive web design um, and see how this is going to look in a mobile handheld device, a tablet, a desktop, um, etc. right there in the interface. So that's why I like Dreamweaver. Um, Dreamweaver means that I can design any way I want. I can do it purely visually, I can do it purely as a codist, or I can um, do a combination which I prefer and I can have access to whatever tools I want. Um, it color codes things so that I can um, break them down visually at a glance and see what I'm looking at. Um, it has some features where I can see if something is not closed or broken in, in terms of the code. Um, just these different things. If I need to um, actually manually type out um, a bunch of body copy, I can go ahead and do that, but I can style it visually at the exact same time. Highlight a word, make it bold. Don't have to write code for that. You know, something simple. That's one of the definite things I like about it and advantage, but I also like that it has um, some jQuery functionality already built in, things like PhoneGap if you want to get into um, mobile development. And I just think that as a tool, it just makes a lot of sense. Um, it does have some Photoshop integration capabilities, but honestly, I don't really use a lot of that. Um, I used to use the abilities that it had in terms of integrating with Flash um, back in the day, but again, not much of a demand or a need for that and it conflicts with Apple devices now, so I don't use Flash in that particular way anymore. I just use it for some motion graphic stuff from time to time if I'm too lazy to use After Effects. But as a tool, Dreamweaver, I think is a solid tool for web design. I think it's very good, especially if you're a beginner um, in terms of letting you find a way to work and finding your own flow and process. I think it's a great organizational tool because it has a built-in file manager. Um, it has the assets panel and library where you can make and uh, store your own assets. It now works in the CC version with different content management systems like WordPress automatically. It has built-in FTP. It's an all-in-one singular solution um, whereas if you're a pure coder that just uses something like Notepad++, you're using that plus any of the many FTP programs like FileZilla, um, things like that. 
So Dreamweaver is just an all-in-one solution that works very well. It integrates with other Adobe applications. You can use it in combination with the Adobe Edge programs if you have the Creative Cloud services. And I think it's just a great overall tool. This is not an Adobe Dreamweaver product uh, review. I'll do that in a completely separate view video. But what it is is I'm telling you the reasons that I made the choice as a web designer to utilize Adobe Dreamweaver. In the before Creative Cloud, if I didn't have access to Dreamweaver, I would use um, either Composer from Mozilla or Notepad++. I'll do a separate video on different applications that I recommend for doing coding or web design in general they can use. And I'll cover freeware, web development versions of things versus design things, visual editors, WYSIWYG, etc. But this is my reasoning behind utilizing Adobe Dreamweaver and why I think it would be beneficial to you if you're just learning web design or if you have very client um, oriented projects where um, you have a lot of revisions or you're working with somebody and if you have the skills as a web designer to not have to um, immediately visually communicate things with like an art director if you have a little more latitude with that Dreamweaver can be a good tool for you for a very big project or even a very simple project. Um, Adobe Muse can be better if you're working with someone that comes from the print world for the reasons that I cover in my Adobe Muse video. So definitely check that out if you're coming from the print world or working with people who are more used to the print world. Um, I think Adobe Muse is a better tool for that. If you're working with technical people, I prefer Adobe Dreamweaver. Adobe Dreamweaver is my go-to of choice overall. I did my own website, robertoblake.com, using Adobe Dreamweaver. And that's just my preference, whether I'm doing hand coding or um, whether I'm gonna do it more visually. I still prefer it over Adobe Muse. Adobe Muse has a great usage for very simple and quick things with a fast turnaround. And I do use it for that, but overall, Adobe Dreamweaver, once again, is my favorite and go-to tool for web design. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you um, learned a little more about why a lot of people use um, Adobe Dreamweaver and some of its advantages. Um, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Watch the other videos in the series whenever you have a chance, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.